Hi everyone, and welcome to Joe Reviews. Today I'll be reviewing one of the most popular monitor mount options available on Amazon. I've been using the Vivo single monitor arm desk mount for a little over a month and wanted to share my thoughts on it. First, I'll take you through the setup and some of the things I came across while putting this mount together. This being my first monitor mount, I was interested in how difficult this would be. That being said, the setup was overall pretty simple. Upon opening the box, you'll find the Visa mount, some hardware, the arm, the main pole, and finally, the desk clamp. Assembly is pretty simple and straightforward. First off, attach the main pole to the desk clamp with some screws. The screws are tiny, so getting them to line up with the holes and catch the thread took a little more time than I thought. But once I was able to get that, it went together easily. After I had the pole and the desk clamp assembled, the next step was to clamp it to the desk. Originally my plan was to attach it to the center of the desk, but I quickly realized I forgot I had a cable management tray under the desk where the desk clamp would need to go. The clamp needs about 3.5 inches of free space under and on top of the desk to attach. So just something to keep in mind, make sure your desk doesn't have any sidewalls or other obstructions that would get in the way of the clamp. I could have moved the cable management tray but instead decided to offset the mount. I like the offset look a little better. There are some monitor mounts on the market that come with an offset mounting option, and I'm a fan of that style. The drawback of it being offset is you lose some of the range of motion, but for me, this setup works fine. The arm on this mount is fairly long, about 14 inches, so I'm able to extend the screen to the center of the desk this way. After attaching to the desk, I slid one of the cable management clips on the main pole. It comes with one cable management clip for the main pole and two for the arm. I wish it came with one more clip for the main pole just to keep the cables a bit more tight, but I can always use a zip tie or something else to keep the cables flush with the pole. The arm goes on kind of tight even with the set screw loosened. Next I attach the Visa mount to the back of my monitor. I'm using a Gigabyte M32U monitor. This is about the max size this mount can handle as it is 32 inch monitor weighing 16 pounds without the stand. The mount can work with monitors up to 32 inches or ultra-wide monitors up to 38 inches and the whole stand can handle up to 22 pounds. After I had that installed, I slipped the monitor with the mount onto the arm. As you can see, it goes on rather easy. Then you just screw the cap on top and attach the two cable management clips to the arm. Then just hook your cables up and feed them through the supplied clips and you're all set. It's easy to see why this is one of the top selling monitor arms on Amazon. It's simple to set up, seems like a rock solid build, and for the price, it feels like you're getting a really good deal. It's easy to move the monitor forward and backward, as well as rotating to either side. So who should buy this mount? I'd recommend this mount to anyone who is still using their stock monitor stand. The mount frees up a lot of space on your desk and has a cleaner look. As you can see how much space my old monitor stand took up on my desk compared to just the clamp required for the Vivo mount. The only thing, as mentioned before, is make sure you have enough space on top and below your desk for the clamp. There is also an option to screw the mount to the desk near grommet. And also for $35, it's one of the more affordable options available. The drawback of this Vivo mount is if you need to adjust your monitor up and down often, it takes more work than what some other mounts on the market offer. You have to loosen the set screw, move the arm, and then retighten the set screw. Another complaint I've seen on this is it doesn't do the best job for hiding cables. With the cables running on the outside of the pole versus inside, you'll always have some cables showing. Overall, I'm very happy with it. Great build quality, low price, and accomplishes what I was looking for, a cleaner looking desk. So that's it for my thoughts on the Vivo mount. Do you think this mount for what it offers is a good value? Leave a comment and please hit subscribe. Thank you for watching.